Hi, I'm Chip Lamb for Sports Car Market Magazine. We're at the Worldwide Group Auction at the Hilton Head Concourse in November 2007. Today we're looking at a few cars here, and this is one of them. A 1950 MGTD with a Judson Supercharger. The Judson Supercharger was an aftermarket accessory available in the late 1950s into the 1960s to add power to shall we say, anemic English and some small bore other European automobiles. Volkswagen Beetles also had available Judson superchargers in, a, in their day. Let's take a walk around this car and we'll uh, look to see if other shortcuts like a Judson supercharger appeared in this car's uh, older restoration. I've got issue with some areas up here in the fender. There's a lot of filler up in here. You can see it underneath the paint, even if it doesn't come out in the, in the camera. There's sanding scratches in that filler, and there's a really heavy orange peel to this paint. It looks like it was done a while ago and not with the best materials. These headlamp pods probably have never been rechromed. If they have, they've been overly buffed. And there's some pitting and there's some rub through to the chrome. This radiator shell is either a reproduction item or it was re-chromed. The quality of the chrome work is really not even up to the par that this car uh, had when it was new. Let's take a little bit of a walk around and get around towards the back of the MG. The windshield stand could use a pretty good polish, probably something they should have done before the car came to auction. It's pitted, and a lot of this pitting is not so deep into the chrome that it would have helped to, to have done a little bit about that. We've got the wind wings here. These doors fit like this because this lip overlaps the, the body line here, so that's acceptable. That's really quite acceptable for one of these cars. The gaps are not as much an issue as they are with the older cars. If you see this little spot here, this is sort of a relief spot that was built into these cars when new. If these cars have a lot of putty in them or they've really rusted out and been rebuilt, a lot of times this little relief is gone out of the body. And the interior is a fairly high grade vinyl. You've got a nice wooden steering wheel, the correct vinyl covering to the dashboard and all the instrumentations. Cloth top is a nice shape. It looks like it was probably done some time ago, and it's held up well because this car naturally has lived inside in a garage. There's a little bit of pitting to the steel here, or there's imperfections or dirt in the paint from when the car was painted here. Uh, these cars weren't worth a whole lot, so to a lot of people it was, didn't make a whole lot of sense to do a really round up perfect or better than new restoration. Panel fit is good here in this fender. It's a little bit of a drop in the welting area here, but the welting takes up most of the slack. Here's something I don't like at all. We've got a bungee cord holding the door shut. I guess the latch has gone bad. I don't think I'd want to drive a car with suicide doors at any speed with only a bungee cord holding the door shut. Chrome on this side is, is weathered, could use a polish. Let's raise the hood. Let's look at that Judson supercharger. There it is. That's pretty neat. That's a period performance item. You don't have to open up the ports and the heads. You don't have to put a really aggressive cam in there. In some ways, it's a bit of a shortcut. In other ways, it was a really neat idea for some of these small, low compression engines when better fuels were available uh, during the later 1950s. Originally, this engine would have had two SU carburetors here instead of the Judson. You'll see that a larger SU carburetor was fitted to the supercharger, and that's the car's fueling source. There's no air filter. There's not even a place where you could put one in or even a hose leading to a remote filter. Now, here's something interesting. We have a, a, an ingenuitive overflow tank here. We've got a can from Marvel Mystery Oil uh, taking the radiator overflow. It's held in with the bungee cord. It seems to be a bit of a theme on this car. Easily corrected, not a bad idea. You don't want to drop antifreeze all over the road, but I think it could have been done a little bit better. 
Overall, this is a nice driver condition and really quite unique 1950 MGTD. The Judson Supercharger is a uh, harks to days gone by when these performance items were available for cars like this. They were, after all, everyday sports cars. I'm Chip Lamb for Sports Car Market Magazine.